Yeah, I think they've uh, already turned it on. Yeah, turned yeah. Off. yeah. Um, well, your ankle's beautiful. Yeah. A robotic ankle. Yeah. It came together a lot better, I think, than we all thought it would. Great, great. So we're really happy with it. Um, but not terribly abnormal to have this much discomfort. Mm -hmm. um, I just, he's going to be home this whole week, you know that. Okay. And then, um, even if he needs Monday, that's fine too. Um, then we'll see you guys on Tuesday and get that splint off and get a cast. Okay. And then it's a lot safer to go to school. Right. So if you want to stay home Monday, that's totally fine. But if he's kind of ready to get out of the house, that's fine too. Just let us know. Um, did physical therapy work with him on the walker a little bit? He got up and walked to the door and then okay. back. And then he got up once and went to the bathroom. Okay. Um, so he'll probably come one more time this morning. And then um, as soon as he's on morals, y'all can go home if you're comfortable to do so. Okay. Um, send some medicine to the pharmacy in Marco. It'll be what they transition him to while he's here. Okay. Um, wiggling his toes okay? Is he wiggling his toes a little bit? Uh, I hadn't seen lately. Uh, I think the last time was like at midnight or so. Good. Okay. Um, any other concerns? Uh, a few. <coughs> a few. <laughs> um, the scooter thing, that's not recommended. Like, no, well, you can totally get a scooter because okay. he's not going to be walking on it for at least three weeks. Okay. Because um, I maybe think it'll be six. easier for Yeah, school. you can. They're pretty pricey. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you guys, do you know of a source? Probably. Okay. Probably can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want to do it, if they need a prescription, we can send it wherever you find one. If you okay. just find one on Facebook, like Marketplace or Garage Sale or a friend you let, that'll let you borrow one. Okay. Um, totally appropriate because we don't want to put any weight on it. Um, let's see... He had, okay, like appointments and stuff. Do we, or is that all set up as far as like one week out, two week out? Not yet. You okay. guys have to call and make those appointments. We don't okay, schedule so, them for you because you're scheduled. Okay. So just call Naomi and talk, tell her that we need him to come back on Tuesday. Tuesday. And she, it'll work. We'll work it in. He's really concerned about uh, timeline for sports and this and that. I told him it's going to be. It's going to be a while. Probably next year. Yeah. yeah. He's not doing basketball this year. Okay. He's, what other sports are we doing? Uh, baseball. baseball. He's in baseball yeah, he right now. Yeah, won't make it. Yeah. Um, Maybe the end of the season. Okay. But even Mar I mean, March is six weeks away, so right. it's kind of... <laughs> right. Um, let's see. Showering. Uh, you can't get it wet. Okay. You can't get the cast wet. Um, there's a, a thing called dry core cast covers. Let me okay. write it down. You can Google, okay. look it up. They have them on Amazon. Okay. It's really the only brand we kind of support because they actually work but it's basically like a tourniquet you put it over it and then you suck the air out and then you can please completely submerge get in the bath take a shower all those kinds cool. of things it's probably i mean it's not gonna be standing up in the shower so you kind of figure out what works yeah. a little plastic stool okay um sponge bathing mm -hmm. stick his head in the sink to wash his hair right okay. <laughs> we so we doing that you're gonna do <laughs> this first week and then once he gets his cast in, it's a little bit more stable, then you can probably be a little bit more and aggressive with the baby. I think the only thing is, uh, like, pain progression. Like, <clears throat> what can he look forward to as far as, like, not having as much pain? Because yeah, he's every, always asking. For sure. Every day yeah. should get better. Okay. Um, it's not totally it, – this is totally appropriate to be hurting this much. Mm -hmm. um, as the swelling goes down and inflammation just kind of resolves a little bit over the next seven days, he'll be feeling a lot better. A lot better. Um. And the Norco you can take on a schedule okay. every four to six hours, but as soon as he can take regular Tylenol, that's preferred okay. because it doesn't have all the side effects. Norco right. makes you constipated, mm -hmm. makes you kind of brain fog, all those kinds of things. So regular Tylenol is really effective in kids, okay. um, but he'd probably be, two, he's a, a gram every six hours, but you can only do three grams in a day, so two okay. 500 milligram tablets. Um, and then you can even combine it with Benadryl at night, which is really helpful because it makes him drowsy and sleep better. Okay. And they don't wake up complaining. But elevation is going to be also key to making the pain less. Mm -hmm. So if he starts complaining of his heel starting to hurt, that wouldn't be surprising in this position. So if you just put the pillows a little bit lower Floated. so that the heel's yeah, floating. Okay. Um, but just get him home, elevate. What about anti-inflammatory? <laughs> we don't really like anti-inflammatories. It delays bone healing okay. um, historically. So... The Norco has Tylenol and hydrocodone 
coated them in it, so you don't want to take Tylenol on top of that. So right. It's one or the other, but if you need it, like, first thing in the morning and then usually first, like, before he goes to bed and then do regular Tylenol during the day, that would be ideal. But if he needs an Orco during the day, the next two days or so, that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Very good. Thank you. All right. We'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Yes. Thanks. So I'm going to let physical therapy work with him one more time. Make sure he's comfortable on the oral, so no rush. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a stable blockout? No, not no. yet, dude.